Hey, 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 it's me again. Coming to you once again on this beautiful day. You know, I wanna share something with you today. Um, I woke up this morning and I had this dream. I had this dream this morning. I wanna share this with you. Um, this dream I had was very, very, I've never had a dream like this before. Um, and I really believe it meant, it meant something. It, it, it is something that I'm dealing with right now, um, personally. And you know, my page, of course, this channel um, is about me being transparent about my situations and ex my experiences and how, and, and it's just allowing me to share my weaknesses as well as my strengths. And so I had this dream though. I was walking on an expressway. I was literally walking on an expressway, but the expressway was, it was like under construction. The, express, the expressway, this highway I was walking on was tore up. I mean, it was the stones. It was like bricks everywhere, dirt everywhere, things sticking out. Um, I mean, just so much debris. It was so hard to walk on a on this road that was so rocky. I mean, it was absolutely difficult. And I was actually walking through it and my feet would get stuck in areas as I was walking. And although I was, it was a really hard walk and I was, you know, it was, I was walking, but I was still moving. I was moving forward, even though it was the rocks and the debris and everything around my feet were slowing me down. I was still walking, move. I was still moving, but it was slow. And I was like looking far ahead, looking at how far I had to walk. And I'm thinking like, first of all, how did I even get in this place right now? Why, how did I even get on this expressway to be walking in the first place? And I mean, it was the bricks. I mean, it was really horrible. The walk, the, the, um, the expressway. And I'm just walking and I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm like, like, what is going on? This road is, is tore up. And so, um, so all of a sudden later on, I'm like in this, in this office and I'm talking to the, 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 the person who's in charge of the, of the construction of this road. And I'm talking to this person and he, he's telling me, um, you know, we're right now we're under this road is under construction but it won't be long uh, before the construction is over with simply because we're trying to expand the road from two lanes to three lanes he said because you know most it's, it's very popular right now a lot of the roads are now being expanded from two lanes ex i mean it, highways expressways are being expanded from two lanes to three lanes so right now it's going to be very rocky right now the construction is going to be very hard and it's not going to be smooth but eventually once the construction is over with the road will be nice and smooth to walk on and you will be able to walk a lot quicker so i'm thinking like first of all why am i even walking on the expressway i mean you drive cars and vehicles not walk so that dream was very very different for me and I'm like why did I have this dream sometimes I dream and I don't remember my dreams but this particular time I remembered my dream but it was just something significant about that dream so after I woke up this morning I'm like wow that was really that was really something and it was another dream that came after that that was also different I can't really understand it but the first dream that I had about this construction about this road and I'm telling you the road that I was walking on was so rough. It was so hard to walk on it. I was actually literally getting scarred up. My feet was getting scarred up. My legs, I could actually feel things poking and scratching and scraping my skin as I was walking through this road. I mean, it was really difficult. It was really, I was actually feeling the scars and it was, and it would hurt, but I didn't want to stay and stuck because I felt like if I stay here, I, I'm, I mean, I might as well go ahead and, and keep walking and get this over with. You know, there's no sense of just staying, standing here. I'm going to go ahead and go through it. And so as I begin to think about it, I'm like, Lord, what is that about? What was that dream about? 
and I was praying and it was and it came to me it's like it came to me that right now what you're going through what you're going through right now what you're going through right now is is a, is a situation is a journey that you're going through and it's not comfortable for you but you got to keep moving forward because in due time it's gonna be what worth your wow worth your wow and if you only knew how soon you were to get to that place you will persevere even harder you will be thankful and be encouraged and that is the faith that that we must have and believe in that whatever you are going through and whatever that road is that you're walking on that is very strange that is very that is challenging that is is you feel like you're going through the weeds you're going through the valleys and the valleys are those low places but see in those valleys that's where the anointing is and that's where growth is the valleys is the anointing that is where God is bringing you from glory to faith to faith to glory to glory hallelujah I just I mean I felt the revelation from that and so you know and it also was so significant this morning I'm gonna also share with you this thing too okay I'm gonna share with you this too there's a picture that I have that sits on my dresser okay I've set that picture there and I've read it so many times that I've read it and it became a piece of decor on my dresser but why this morning why did that saying that that one little saying on this little piece of, of um, picture why did it hit me so hard today so hard and you know what it said it said God grant me the serenity to to accept the things that I cannot change and then it said but God give me the courage to change the things that I can and then it says and give me the wisdom to know the difference wow I said wow I did not realize I did not realize that that was what that 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 was on my desk I mean my dresser was always there but it was like it was like profound you know it was so profound to me this morning and it, and it, and it went so good with the dream I had it was it went so well and I'm like wow this is so profound God because what I'm going through I cannot change it you know and we have to realize that in the storm some storms you cannot change there's some things you cannot change whether it's a bad relationship whether it's a situation with a spouse or, or um, a girlfriend boyfriend whoever you have or whatever significant other um, um, your family members you know your education your school the professors you're, you know, you're trying to go get through college. Your children, you're having a hard time with raising them. You're being a single parent, whether you're a man or a woman, or a mother or father. You know, or you want to mate really bad, and you're having issues with relationships. You're having issues with close friends. You're having issues on your job. You're having issues with your boss. You're having issues with employees, coworkers. Some things you just cannot change, but 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 God give you God will give you the serenity, the calmness, the calmness, the 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 peace in knowing that you're not going to be able to change it because that's my job. That is not for you to do. That is my job. And He gives you the courage to change the the things that you can change. But He will. But most of all, He will give you the wisdom to know the difference, to know which of these. I can and which of these I cannot 
so so as I shared my dream to, with you today and as I shared my that word and that message with you today I just want you to be encouraged because it has encouraged me to move forward to not stop no matter what no matter how the scars no matter the hurt no matter the pain move forward because your breakthrough and your miracle and your victory is very very nigh so keep moving, keep trusting God, keep believing, and don't stop. God bless you, and I love you.